What's up YouTubers and YouTube artists? My name is Louis Ning Chang and this is my art channel. The video is about art history to second art and Roman art, part 16. Before we start, I will talk about the history in this video. While I am talk doing this, I will display my art for you to look at. One more thing, please give it a like, share the video and make comments and subscribe to my channel for more art videos. For the tomes, uh, Etruscan beliefs about the afterlife is similar to the Egyptians. They were both used cremation, and they both created home for the dead. The tombs were curved out of the rock and created the rooms. For example, has has a flat seating supported by a square stone post. The wall was uh, plastered and painted. It also had furniture couches was carved by stone. Some furniture was created by stucco and slow drying type of plaster that can be easily molded and carved. Pots, uh, jugs, robes, axes was carved on the wall. <clears throat> the coffin was made from terracotta. Some of the coffin was created by a human shaped sculpture. Brightly colored painting on the walls, on the walls was seen from feasting, dancing, musical performances and athletic contest hunting for fishing and any day life okay so the, for the bronze work the skill of artists and bronze workers was popular in those times they created large size sculptures a lot of them was female wolf the Romans liked to use Greek designs and art but added to their architecture they hired Greek artists and uh, before I continue, um, there's any you hear any background from from any background that's from outside, maybe cars passing by. So sorry about that. Okay, we, 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 we're gonna go to Republican sculpture. The sculpture of the Republican created the nice images based on their surroundings, portraits, Roman ancestors, making death mask. The mask was made of wax and was cast in a plaster and sculptures might be commissioned to create uh, those portraits of the dead. <clears throat> architecture, we're going to get into architecture now. Roman architects built temples, palaces and tombs for the rich and powerful. The Roman architects relied on round, arch and vault. They created a new way of forming concrete. We're into Roman construction. Roman like the organized large scale buildings works, they used the arch and the vault, but they used the new invention of concrete. The Roman concrete was made of powdered lime and uh, uh, volcanic sand called by the Pozzolona and various types of rubble such as small rocks, broken pottery, mixing with the water, blending the materials and placed in a strong solid mass. It was used for the wars and soon they developed a technique known as the Opus Reticulatum. I uh, having trouble uh, pronouncing this. Some say Opus means O P U S R E T I C U L A T U M. Reticulum, whatever that is. Uh, in which the framework is a diagonal web of smallest bricks. Uh, just in case, um, uh, I'm going to put the way I say Tuscan art, I think it's T R U S C A N. So that's the name we got Roman is easy because I was able to easily pronounce that. Okay, people, this is gonna be uh, enough for this uh, particular uh, video. Hope you like it. So um, I know it's been a while I've done any art history, so um, today I decided to do it. Okay, I hope you enjoy my art, and you know if you wanna buy this particular art, you know it's also in the website. Uh, at the moment, because of the coronavirus, uh, I think I, I closed my eBay store for a while. So I guess if you want, you let me know. I could put up an eBay or, you know, uh, this in a website so you can also um, act for it. Anyway, so we're going to end this video. I hope you enjoy it. Again, my name is Louis Ning Chan. Thanks for watching.